How Painkillers Work Painkillers are the most common over-the-counter medications that we take from pharmaceutical stores. But have you ever wondered how these painkillers work? Do these painkillers go directly to the area of the body where you are feeling pain? They get absorbed within the cells of your body where they move towards the nerve endings in the brain and nervous system leading to reduced pain sensation. The body is full of nerve endings within the tissues and skin. The cells get activated when you are hurt, where they start releasing prostaglandins. These prostaglandins are sensed by the nerve endings, which can sense the painful feelings. These chemicals are sensed by the nerve endings, where they start transmitting the pain messages to the brain and nervous system. The brain then starts responding and feels the pain. Pain is the hurtful response of the body where it starts feeling a painful sensation. For example, if you are hurt while playing football and your brain stops responding to the painful sensation, then you are unable to identify that your knee was injured. When you consume the painkillers once you are injured, they stop the injured cells from releasing and making the prostaglandins. When such cells stop the formation of this chemical, then the brain stops responding to the painful messages and the pain is less severe or completely gone. These painkillers stand in between different nerve cells, which are now unable to transmit the pain signals towards each other, which prevents us from perceiving pain. NSAIDs block the formation of prostaglandins within the body through special enzymes such as COX-1 and COX-2. The tissues do not result in swelling, with no transmission of pain in the absence of prostaglandins. When considering acetaminophen, researchers say that it is seen to target serotonin neurotransmission located in the central nervous system, but the current hypothesis suggests that it works by inactivating the special enzyme COX that aids in relieving pain and fever. Painkillers are commonly utilized for treating mild to moderate pain like menstrual pain, headaches, joint pain, muscle pain, and toothache. Painkillers aid in lowering the fever, which you might have if you're suffering from cold or flu. The common over-the-counter painkillers help treat chronic pain, which is commonly seen in conditions like back disorders or arthritis. Over-the-counter painkillers are available in different forms like capsules, tablets, powders which are dissolved in water, suppositories, sprays, gels, skin patches, syrups or liquids. It is advised to visit the healthcare professionals and consume the recommended dosages of the prescription drugs on time to avoid any severe adverse effects and relieve the pain sensation.